it was very clear immediately that it's a play that is unique and intriguing and funny and special. I keep coming back to MTC because their audiences are in fact so responsive to my work and they've allowed me to write a really silly play like Fuddy Mears and then a more serious play like Rabbit Hole and every play that I've written they've gone on the journey and just allowed me to be a storyteller. We both love this man's writing and she's been about ten of his plays. This is six. Six, not ten. <laughs> These two women uh, who are forced to share a room in an assisted living facility and they're very different personalities. The first page conflict starts just with the announcement that she's that my character is going to get a roommate. She says to me, I don't like you. I say, well, I don't think that's true. <laughs> it's like, I just don't think it's true. She just, she cannot be ruffled or upset, <laughs> and, which makes me want to kill her. They make a bet to try to resolve who is going to get to stay in the room, and the bet has many unforeseen consequences for them and for the audience and takes them on uh, quite a wild ride. I think that he's a genius. Uh, I've seen lots and lots of what he's done and just always been in awe of his quick wit, his great heart, his, his amazing comedy. For the first couple of days I felt like, how do I, I don't want to do it wrong in front of David Hyde Pierce. Uh, I've gotten over that a little bit. I've done enough wrong, and, and he hasn't cut me yet, so now I feel like, okay, it's all right. He's an actor. He can viscerally feel yeah. where, what, where we're having a problem, and he can also viscerally feel how to fix it because he knows how he would fix it on stage. It's like an onion that gets peeled back along the way, and uh, those are the best plays because they're, they're super funny and multi-dimensional. He just writes in very real voices, I think, so you don't feel like, oh, here comes a big joke, like it's set up with a punch. It just feels like care. it comes from the characters. It's very collaborative, and they, all, and they also have a beautiful way of working together. My history with MTC goes way back, actually even before me coming to New York, because Lynn Meadow was my acting teacher, one of my acting teachers when I was an undergrad in college. It was the beginning of a long and very happy relationship. I love this, uh, this theater and uh, I love Lynn and I'm glad to be back now as a director.